Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Mill Grove, Ontario. Hey, we're shooting a new video. This is a 14 foot side door. Uh, it's a little different than some of the other coaches we've built in the past because of the features that are in it. Um, and it's got some new unique features from the standpoint, things that are changing in the industry, not by our choice, but by the choice of the manufacturers that are supplying us the parts. Um, it's still 14 foot from front to back, or it's an 11 foot floor. Um, on the front here, it has what we call a front window, which is just a picture window. Um, traditionally, a lot of our coaches had all the stone guards on them. They've now decided last fall that they're not building stone guards anymore for windows. So this is what we call laminated windshield. So it's the same window, what's in your automobile. All the RVs are like this today. Um, solves a few things for people that, when I mention to them on their orientation when they pick it up, you know, you gotta make sure your latches are down properly. And there's, you know, one or two a year that don't get the latches down properly and take off and it twists the stone guard all up and totally ruins it, which is all part of the whole structure. And then you gotta try to get a replacement. <clears throat> so as we change with the industry, now it's all, like I said, you don't have to worry about a stone guard. If you put a bike carrier on the front of these, you don't have to worry about dropping the bike carrier to open up the front window stone guard. And it gives you visibility as soon as you get in the trailer. So if you stop at a picnic area or something at a gas station, you sit in to grab a bite to eat and you want to have visibility, you don't have to worry about opening the stone guard. So there's some good points about it too. And you know, it's just how the industry's changing, trying to keep it simpler for people to operate at the same point. Um, this trailer, it's a uh, single axle. Um, it's got lots of windows around it for visibility. And something else that's new for us because they've done away with the manual awnings. Our smaller coaches sort of from the 17s down and we're sort of playing with which ones are gonna not have power awnings because of power awning. They, they're tremendous, they work great. But like everything, everything has issues here and there. So we have been trying the box awning, which means there is no motor and that, especially on the smaller coaches. So you don't have any arms coming down. So we don't have to give up any windows because when they're power awnings, they're all mounted to the sides of the trailer. And when they're mounted, you can't mount it to a window, so you have to take the window out. So the manual ones like this, some of the pros and pros on it is if you wanted just a little section over the door, you can crank it out. So you have just a small section, this just declips off here. So you can take it off. If you just wanted a little piece over the door, it's a windy night, it's really raining heavy, and you don't want it projected all the way out. It does have a tip feature. I can't reach it, I'm too short, but it does have a tip feature that when water gets on it, it will tip. It has no arms that you have to worry about. So when you walk underneath the awning, there's no arms you're walking into. So there's some really great features about it too. And what's kind of nice, it's all manual. So you don't have to worry about electric motors or anything wearing out. And when it's closed up for the winter, what I think is kind of neat, when it's closed up for the winter, there's no fabric up here exposed to the weather. It has all a metal case on it, so it's protecting it, um, which I think is pretty slick too. So like everything in life, they all have pros and cons, and you gotta change as the industry is changing to what they supply us in the way of parts we get to pick from. And you know, at Taylor Coach here, I've always said to all my customers, I try to pick the best of what's available to me so that you guys can go out and have a really great time with the trailer and make all your dreams and memories come true. Um, that's your double tanks on the front, your battery is built in the front as well. well let's take you on the inside and I'll show you some of the features on the inside. So on the inside of this coach, it's got a little 30 inch dinette at the front here. The trailer's uh, 78 inches wide, giving you a bed of uh, 
uh, what is it, 75 on the inside, so it's six foot three. We put a little shelf up here for throwing knickknacks, hats, things like that, gloves, maps as you're traveling. You got your little shelf down here for cell phones and things. And you can see the visibility. It's got lots of light coming in the front window. And that's another advantage not having the stone guard. It's one less thing you have to open and set up when you get to the campground. Um, on the inside here, at the back, we have another dinette at the back here. This is a 30 inch dinette. So this trailer is going to make into two twin beds is what they're doing. But what they're going to have here is one bed's going to be a little bigger than the other. So it all comes down to creature comforts. I think the biggest thing is who's going to argue over the bigger bed. Maybe sometimes there will be some disputes of, hey, we need to switch beds tonight because you got a few more inches on the bed than I've got. So, but it's still the same length, but 39 inches is more exactly of a twin bed. Uh, and on the back here, they've opted out, whoops, they've opted out of putting a, a bunk in it. They've asked, this particular cus customer asked for just a open storage where they could slide some baskets into it. And it's got the little lips on it because they didn't want to face swinging down. And I should reiterate on, it couldn't have a bunk in this trailer to begin with because our bunk up above uh, is a 40 inch bunk and we only have 39 inches below it. So there's not enough space to have a bunk up above it. So instead of having a closed cabinet with doors, they've asked us if we could just make openings so they had storage up above. Um, there is storage underneath the seats. Uh, on the counter here, you got storage up above and it was prepped for a microwave, so they've opted out of the microwave, but it has the built-in provisions that a microwave can be added down the road. It's a two burner cooktop. You got er, two single sink, I should say, two burner cooktop um, with your glass lid with the range hood. Um, you will notice in the picture, doesn't have a kitchen window, and our coaches, as you have to shrink the counter, by the time you start putting range hoods in, which are mandatory to vent the trailer properly and get, not have carbon monoxide coming off the burners, there's not enough room to get a window in here and curtains and balances and everything. It just doesn't work. So it's much more feasible now. You can put a hook up here. You can hang your towels, dishcloths, and things like that, which to me makes it much more practical use of space than thinking you need a window you do have the screen door that's right by the by the window here and there's lots of visibility of windows all the way around the coach at the back here instead of a little closet they've asked for just a uh, pantry so they could have had the option of having two rods in there to have hanging space but they didn't want that they would have rather had the pantry to have the storage for things as well underneath there's more storage underneath here and they went for a five point. These are another light here. I forgot to turn on. Um, you got a five point five fridge. You do have an option in this trailer in the 14s. The side door versus a rear door. When we're doing a rear door, you can't get this large of a fridge in it because it is mounted underneath the counter. In our side doors, you can go up to a five five. You could have a six five with a separate freezer because this is your freezer up above here. So you have the option of having bigger fridges for ones that want it. The bathroom is which our standard bathroom. So it's your shower toilet combination here with a range, uh, I should say, vent in it with a fan. And that, um, which is a pretty standard bath you get in all of our uh, different trailers out there. Doesn't matter if it's rear doors, side doors. The shower pan sort of come in one width. We just create and make different widths in the shower pan as we offer mid baths and set the shower pans off a little bit more. And you can notice in this trailer, it's a little bit more narrow because it is only uh, six foot six on the outside, 78 inches. But it's given you that length of a double bed. And lots of couples like it, trying to stick in the narrow width or even go, you could bump it out to seven. It's personal choice because they like it. It's tucked in behind the vehicle. You don't need mirrors to see by it and all that. 
which they really enjoy towing much better. And you know, the more you enjoy towing the trailer, the further you will travel and the more things you're gonna see in your life. Um, but it still gives you a pretty good walkway in between it. Uh, I should have mentioned too, you've got all your, your drawers here, spot for a garbage and a fair bit of storage underneath the counter. Uh, this particular trailer, when we put it on the scales, now they didn't put a, an AC in it or that either. It does have our fantastic fan. And when this one went on the scales, it was coming in around 1578. So, it, you know, it's just under the 1600 as a dry weight. So if you have vehicles that are rated for, you know, I like to see vehicles around 3000 towing something like this. Because once you put all your camp gear in it and things like that, it's bringing you in around 1900 on the road, maybe. To, and there's lots of margins on your vehicle. I like margins on vehicles. I'm a type of guy that likes to keep vehicles for a long time. I don't like having to buy new vehicles. And I think, you know, it's nice to get longevity out of the things that you own. That's why lots of people that call us and talk about our product and I've said to lots of people, you know, if the trailer's looked after properly, I'm, a, I'm expecting 45 years out of these trailers. Uh, I've been in the industry 47 years building them and I've taken a lot of pride in the years of doing it and my son's following in my footsteps. Um, uh, hope you liked the video. Watch for more videos down the road. Um, uh, we've got some other kind of unique builds coming up. And again, if you got any questions on trailers, my name's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Ontario, Canada. Give me a shot on the phone or send me an email. We'd be glad to talk to you. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.